Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. So today we have a structural mechanics problem and in particular this is def a deflection problem. Uh, and here's what the question says. The following structure is an equilibrium. Given that E equals 10,000 KSI and I equals 448 inches to the fourth, what is most nearly the maximum deflection of the beam at point B? And we see our four options there. Um, and then we see our beam that has a uniformly distributed uh, force on it over 20 feet from A to B and then we see it's got a fixed end. So if you're wanting to find the formulas or maybe even a cheat sheet, uh, I think I searched, I think I control F deflection and it gave me, it brought me to these pages. So F E, uh, you're going to be looking in 140 to 142 or uh, 135 to 136 I think that gives you some info as well uh, for the PE same deal we're going to be talking in 34 to 35 or uh, 236 to 254 so we're going to be solving for the deflection at B in inches because our answer bank as uh, only inches that's that's the uh, unit that we need to solve for I'm also going to be showing you the deflection angle at B how to solve for it in radians even though it didn't ask it's just good to know because uh, this could be a part of the question that they could ask you so let's go ahead and get this guy fired up the FE and the PE call this two different things so for the FE they have the same meaning but in the FE on page 141 uh, we should we see that this guy max uh, is equal to WL to the fourth over 8 EI uh, whereas in the PE on page 244 the Delta max is WL well actually it's a lowercase WL to the fourth over 8 EI. Uh, they also have it on page 35 as well. Same deal. They show it as negative WL to the fourth over 8 EI. Doesn't really matter. Positive versus negative. In this case, we understand there's no support at B. Uh, so this guy's just going to do this right here. Right? It's going to have a negative deflection. So there's your deflection at B and then the angle is the maximum angle that this makes. So that got sloppy really quick but hopefully that kind of makes sense. Uh, so what is our W? I'm going to scroll down a little bit. What is our W? That's going to be our 0 0.5 hips per foot. Our L is going to be 20 feet because that's the entire length that it acts. What's our E? Well, that was given in the problem, 10,000 KSI. And our I is 448 inches fourth. Very good. Let's scroll down and let's solve for this guy. The deflection at B. Zero point five kips per foot. Write your units out. Good reminder: write your units because you can get lost. This is plug and chug right now. Eight times ten thousand psi times four four eight inches to the fourth. And you may be noticing something. You may be catching on. We have feet and we have inches. That's a problem. We need to solve for it. So uh, we need to convert. So I use a method called, uh, I call them railroad tracks because they look like railroad tracks. Uh, five kips per foot. How many feet are in an inch? I'm kidding. How many inches are in a feet? Well, there's 12 of them. So this guy converts over to 0 0.04 kips per inch. And then uh, we need to convert our 20 feet over as well. 
20 feet. You can convert the, the KSI or the inches to the fourth over two. It would just be much more difficult. 12 inches and one foot. There's your tra railroad tracks if you couldn't picture it. <clears throat> this ends up being 240 inches. Uh, so now we can actually plug and chug. Let's scroll down, let's continue here. We have deflection at B uh, being equal to, or I'm gonna put the negative sign in there, 0 0.04 kips per inch times 240 inches, and that's gonna be to the fourth. All of that over eight times 10,000 KSI times our 448 inches to the fourth. You may already be seeing some units cancel out. That's a good check. Our inches to the fourth cancel out. Our inches cancel out. Our tips cancel out. But we have we are left with one less inch because we have a, a square inch down here. So the inches go to the numerator. Uh, so whenever you solve for this, I ended up with negative 3.7 inches that's your deflection so uh, there's your answer to the problem but I promised you I would show you the deflection angle too so the deflection angle at B we're gonna go ahead and solve for this this is just for giggles by the way uh, it's also known as the slope angle or the slope whatever you want to call it it's on the same page that's gonna be WL cubed over 6 EI And so you end up with negative 0 0.04 kips per inch times, I almost forgot it, 240 inches cubed over 6 EI. Uh, and that ends up being 0 0.02 radians. Here's another bonus. If you're given a uh, an equation for, let's say, the moment, or maybe even the shear, shear bending moment, whatever you want to call it, uh, the load is actually a derivative of the shear, which is a derivative of the moment, which is a derivative of the slope, which is a derivative of guess what? The deflection. So, uh, very interesting. So that's gonna be an integral, and that's an integral. They're all related to each other. So an interesting concept, if you get a load of, like in this case, 0 0.5x, uh, the integral to that guy is gonna be 0 0.5x over two, right? So that's gonna be your shear, and you keep going down and you end up with an equation for the deflection at any given point on the beam. So a uh, very cool tip. And by the way, here's a little tidbit. This looks like the FE 136. All right, so let's see what answer we are shooting for here. It's 3.7 inches. Let's scroll up. That is gonna be close to A. So I, I think they kind of rounded up to uh, the next number. Uh, so I hope this video helps and we'll catch you next time.